Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, I'm out here at Shelbyville Road and Beckley Station Road at the Block Gourmet Deli. I'm kind of ashamed to say I've never really been here before. Uh, and I guess the reason is the word gourmet kind of intimidates me. You think the word gourmet, you think fancy. Y'all know there's nothing fancy about me or my format. You know, when I think of like gourmet, fancy, I think of like old ladies eating the sandwich with the crust cut off, you know, with the pinky up in the air. Not a fat guy type of place, to basically put it in a nutshell. As you know, I'm not anatomically correct, I'm fat. So I eat blue collar working man's food. So anyway, I got a lot of people that reached out to me lately and actually sent pictures and stuff of their sandwich here, sandwiches, and I thought to myself, I was like, hey, this is a place a fat guy could really get behind so and also what brings me here specifically today is a run a special today on italian beef sandwiches so you know if you y'all saw that sam seafood grill y'all know that italian beef sandwiches are one of my favorite thing of all time plus i know they cook their own corned beef here brine it cook it so i'm gonna get some of that too but anyway and it's right up the street from my house i'm ashamed of myself i didn't do more research and realize that this is a blue collar working man type of deli. Even though it says gourmet, uh, they do have some upscale stuff, but they also have stuff that's blue collar. So I'm gonna go on in here, I'm gonna do a nice review today, sit down, relax, eat me a couple sandwiches, and just kind of enjoy the vibes. Be right back. All right, so before I get my food, I wanna go ahead and show you around the place. Y'all know how I like to show the facilities this is the really cute quaint little spot got menu board up here big enough where even an old dude like me can read it i know i'm gonna get that brooklyn i love new york deli type sandwiches and of course i gotta get that corned beef i was telling y'all about and what else should i get today uh New York sandwich, corned beef. Uh, oh yeah, the Chicago beef. That's why I came in here today. Of course I gotta get the Chicago beef sandwich. And I'm sure there's soups. I'm gonna get some of those because those are really good. But anyway, uh, cute little place. You might wanna time it out to where you either come early or come late because you see, they're kind of limited on seating. You know, got a two top over here and like a six or seven top over here. But they're basically, oh, and also they have a little cafe style table out here. If you want to sit outdoors on a nice day, there you go. And got your drinks. And I'm sure they got some kind of dessert. I haven't looked yet, but, and then the kitchen back there they're doing big business back there. Their catering, I think, is their main forte. So the kitchen is actually bigger than the deli area out here because I'm sure they do a lot of catering. So they need plenty of kitchen space. Also have uh, plenty of homemade salads, uh, like macaroni salad, coleslaw, cucumber salad, mushroom salad, uh, marinated olives, see that real mozzarella marinated cheese pimento cheese uh, they got all the good meats uh, mainly carry boar's head but when it comes to like the corned beef and pastrami they get that out uh, i'm not sure where it is i'm sure it's probably local but uh, they make it brine it and cook it themselves all right so i'll be back in a minute I place my order, or I'm going to place my order, and then we're going to start in and see what I'm in here discussing these Italian beef sandwiches, which I told you is what brought me here today. As you see, it's got the spicy jardinera, 
and it's served on a French bread hoagie. You know, you gotta have some bread with some backbone to it because this thing is swimming in that spicy beef au jus. So, and if you don't have the right kind of bread, it's not gonna hold up. What you see, it's, like I said, swimming. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm telling Derek, this is the real Chicago Italian beef sandwich. No lie. Sorry, Sam Seafood and Grill, but this one here is just as good as your all's. They probably got a little edge on you because this bread is French bread. They probably got, you know, a little bit uh, more quality bread, but don't don't get me wrong, Sam's. Y'all's is still good too. I was just there two days ago. Mm. I don't know if you can see all that. Au jus. Like I said. And don't worry. When I get done with this, I'm going to be drinking the rest of that au jus. It ain't going to waste. All right, I'm going to work on this. I'll be back in just a second because I got a lot more items coming. So I'm by myself today, but I'm still going to show a nice variety. All right, so I'm closing in on the last couple bites of this. actually dripping down my arm. I was just telling one of Louisville's finest who just got to carry out talking about the Italian beef. If you get an Italian beef and it's not messy, it's not a real Italian beef. And I had to get a fork because you see all these fixings that fell out. I can't let anything go to waste. And being that we're in a gourmet deli, I hate to be gauche, but I'm not letting this broth go to waste. Mm. All right. So that was my appetizer. We'll be back in just a second with round two. All right. So I'm done with that Italian beef. As I told you outside, they cook, they brine, cook their own corned beef. So I've got the corned beef with spicy mustard and Swiss cheese. See that steam rolling off? It's hot corned beef. So this is going to be nice. And I believe it's on, well, I'll show you what it's on. No need in talking about what I don't know. Oh yeah. the. Pumpernickel squirrel rye bread, you see there. Plenty of that spicy mustard on there too. Got a nice little uh, char on the bread. And you know, before I came here, uh, I was saying that Good Belly had the best corned beef and pastrami that I'd had in Louisville. So being that they make their own here and brine theirs like a real deli does, but that reminds me, if you go to a deli and they don't brine and cook their own pastrami and corned beef, it's not a real deli. So just mark that down. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So you got the Reuben? Yeah. You're in for a treat. Yeah. There's some good corned beef here. Good and juicy. And I got some of these good Zappos voodoo chips to go with it.
Alright, for y'all that are missing the good New York delis, uh, you can come here and get a nice New York style corned beef. They don't have pastrami today, but when they do have pastrami, make sure to call ahead to have it and get you one of those too. Take it up. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready, Frank? Be back in just a second. We're going to start on round three. I'm going to try their soup because I heard that they are known for their soups also, which, by the way, it didn't come in a little bitty thimble cup for some 90 year old woman. As I said, no child's portions here. This is actually, like I said, blue collar. All right, first thing I got is, it's called gasado, and it's an Argentinian chili, and the word gasado means stew, and uh, I don't know, it's got some beef, pork, onion, uh, I can't read uh, the rest of it, but it's got a, a beef brown gravy. I don't think it has chili powder in it, but I'll be able to tell. Oh, I see black beans. All right, here we go. That looks like potato. Mmm. That has a very, very interesting flavor. Unique. Wow. I want to know what that spice is that I'm tasting. I don't, I don't taste that generally in anything. I've had it before, maybe an Indian restaurant, I'm not sure. What kind of spice y'all have in this, Farah? Uh, what am I tasting? Kind of spice left in the masala. Masala. Oh, am I eating the masala? Oh, no, that one, I'm sorry. That's the um, uh, gasado. Gasado, okay. okay. Cumin. Oh, there is chili powder in it. So dark chili powder, cumin. Chipotle. Chipotle. Chipotle, however you say it. All right, very tasty. And I'm digging all these vegetables, potatoes and beans in here. And the beef. Of course, it's got beef, ground beef all through it. And the pork. All right, I'm gonna put this one down for a minute. It's burning my mouth off for one thing. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna start on another soup here. And this one's gonna really be interesting, something that I've also never had before. I'll be right back. All right, okay. I'm really looking forward to getting to this one because y'all know my followers know I love Indian food. And this one's called Vegetarian Chana Masala. And it is vegetarian, it's not vegan because it's got yogurt in it. Uh, but other than that, it's vegetarian. I wouldn't wanna say it's vegan and have the yogurt in there. All right, here we go. Right off the bat, I can taste the curry, but I'm tasting something else in there. It might be cinnamon. I'm tasting something that's got a little sweetness to it. Uh, Farrah, has this uh, got cinnamon or, or nutmeg in it? I'm gonna guess yes. Is it cinnamon, nutmeg, chef, and a masala? Allspice? Yeah, he said it is. It's got allspice seasoning in it, which does have cinnamon. I knew I was tasting that. But definitely got the curry. And it's got a little rice in there, as you see. And what are these vegetables, uh, Farrah? Some zucchini, some squash, some chickpeas. Zucchini, squash, and chickpeas, yep. Chana is the chickpeas. All right. 
Oh yeah, that's that's very tasty. I tell you what, I've been missing out on food like this for 53 of my 56 years. Until I started this channel, I was never eating like Indian food or any kind of international spices, you know, the good old meat and potato guy I used to. But once I started opening up my my horizons, I can't get enough of the Indian food and international foods for that part. All right. Mm. Delicious. I'll be right back. Got another item. I don't know if I'm through after the next item or not. We'll see. All right, my last item, which by the way, this is a half sandwich. This is called the Brooklyn. Comes with capicola, mortadella, uh, Genoa salami, pepperoni, provolone, olive salad, shredded lettuce, red onion, basil, vinegar, trio on French bread. Look at that. This bread, this is top notch too. And by the way, I got the half because you can get a half and a soup uh, for I think the same price of a whole sandwich. So. For some of you that uh, aren't quite as blue collar as me, and you don't want to get the big fat hoagie, you can get the half with the soup. All right, here we go. The Brooklyn. Mm. Right off the bat, you can taste the quality in the meats and mortadella and capicola. Y'all and Lula, y'all don't know nothing about that. You don't usually find that in delis. That's more of a New York, Jersey, up east type thing. But yeah, that, that takes me back to three years ago when I was in New York City visiting my cousins. And uh, we hit up a lot of good food there, New York delis, and street food, but yeah. And the bread, as I said, the bread is quality. Always got to have that Diet Coke. Even when I weighed 365, I still drank Diet Coke, believe it or not. Ah, washes it down great. All right, be back in just a minute. I'm not sure if I'm done or not, but stick around and more information and final thoughts. A little more about the sandwich. I was looking at the menu board up there and it said Vinegar Trio and EVOO on French bread. Talking about this Brooklyn. Here's where your gourmet part comes in. They use three kinds of vinegar, balsamic, uh, red wine vinegar. What was that third one, Farrah? Third it's vinegar? The, it's the apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. And then the EVOO, I was like, what is that? And they said extra virgin olive oil. Some fancy abbreviations there. Anyway, she's also let me have a sample. You know, Y'all know I pay for my own food, but I got this, I got a little sample cup of the, uh, macaroni salad i see cheese in there pimento uh is that celery oh their homemade horseradish pickles are in there oh that's very tasty mm. yeah that horseradish pickle gives Boar's head, okay. Gives it a nice taste. And it's a, I believe, mayonnaise base. And red onion, I believe, yep. Very tasty. A perfect accompaniment to go with this Brooklyn Italian sandwich. By the way, there's your vegetarian chana masala. 
All right, be back in a minute. Might have final thoughts. Who knows? I might have to keep eating. All right. So as you saw, everything looked really good. It is good. No, it's not good. It was great. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. The Chicago beef sandwich, right there, head to head with Sam Seafood and Grills. Probably the only two true Italian beef sandwiches you can even get in Louisville, for real, as far as like the size and the, the quality and everything. And uh, anyway, it was all great. But again, let me remind you, they only have the Italian beef sandwiches uh, periodically, so you gotta check, call ahead, and see if they got them. Also, same thing with the corned beef. They only have the corned beef about three times a month and uh, pastrami maybe once a month. But uh, their main menu, check it out on Facebook. Uh, like that Brooklyn sandwich I had, they have that every day and they have a lot of other things every day. You saw those sandwiches were huge. I am so uh, disappointed in myself that I haven't been here before now because I'm literally a half a mile down Beckley Station Road from this place. I could have been having all that delicious goodness for all these years. They've been here, I don't know, I should have asked, but they've been here at least 15 years, okay? And anybody last 15 years, there's a reason. This strip center they're in, businesses have come and gone. You know, we had Scotty's Barbecue, Barrel 33, Checks, Barbecue Blues. Uh, it's Barrel 33 now, but a lot of places come and go. But the Block Gourmet Deli is here to stay and definitely come in support local the owner brian real cool guy you love him laid back chill atmosphere good vibe and y'all don't know nothing about this uh block gourmet deli now you know the facts of why i'm on a mission you're always welcome back to goodall's country kitchen